Hello, welcome to Poor Folks. I'm Sean. I'm Seamus. And today we are doing Primal Spirits. Yes, I'm um, kind of commandeering Sean's yeah. show here. That's because, fine. Because we wanted to get this done. <laughs> Number one, we're going Primal today. So, yeah. um, start to start off, we're using uh, Primal Kitchen, no dairy buffalo sauce on our buffalo wow wings. So, we are not paid advertisers on this, so... I've, I love this sauce. Sean's never tried it before, no. so we're going to give this a try. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing we're doing is uh, Primal Spirits. Um, I'm sure if you're following whiskey channels, you know of Whiskey Try. But they did an interesting experiment that I watched, and I thought, oh, we need to try this. It is the exact same mash bill between these two bottles, but one is pot stilled and one is column stilled. And the flavor difference apparently is quite unique, and it's very different okay. based on the two different stills. So it's not necessarily all down to the grains and the mash bill right. that we utilize. It has to do with how the alcohol is extracted from those grains as well. Okay. As well. So anyway, we also got uh, Buffalo Trees mash bill number one because. We are also uh, <laughs> filling up a liter barrel that uh, we purchased. It's got our name on it, poor folks. We've called it Bless the Beast. If you were a child like me of the 70s, mm -hmm. you grew up with Bless the Beast and the Children, which was a movie about the buffalo uh, being kind of wiped out in America. Oh, yeah. And it was a sad story. I just remember it had a great impact on me as a kid. <laughs> but in Buffalo Trace, that's what we decided we were going to put in it. So I thought, let's call it Bless the Beasts. And it's the Omwenig, which is our last name in Irish. Mm. Distillery established 2023. So we are going to actually <laughs> put Mash Bill 1 in our own barrel. And... We're going to age it for two years, so yeah. stick around for two years, please. <laughs> like and subscribe. And uh, in two years, we'll pour it out, yeah. and we'll see if, how it tastes. If it's anything like any of the Buffalo Trace Batch Bill 1 product. Right. So just a real quick note on this barrel. Um, it's not necessarily a regular stave-made barrel mm. like I thought it would be. Right. <laughs> I gave Sean the link, and he ordered it. And I didn't know what I was really doing sending him, so it we is cared more it, about the labeling. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was more about just getting it here so we could do this, right? Yeah. But it, it res it's really just it's not even staves, it's like a piece of oak and it's hollowed out mm -hmm. and made into a barrel. I can see where they put it on the lathe, I think, and, and yeah. made it. So But it holds water which really good. It holds it's gonna hold the liquor pretty good. The only thing we gotta worry about is Maybe here at the spout and the bung will be okay because it's at the, at the top. So we won't have any leakage anywhere else. I have filled it. We have uh, put water in it and let it sit and made sure that it was ready to go. It is charred in the inside too. That's awesome. Uh, that was pretty interesting. So it is charred. I don't know the char number, right. but it, it's black and char inside there. So, And the water, when we, we rinsed it out to get... Cause there's some residual junk in there we did rinse it out and take care of that but anyway at the end of this we're going to fill this with our mash bill one we're going to taste it here against these two but then we also have more mash bill because it is one liter mm -hmm. and contrary to a lot of the barrels um, some of the barrels are listed at two liter or one liter or whatever but that's the actually the water displacement Okay. not necessarily the volume that it holds i tested this and it is one liter that it holds so okay. we should be good anyway <laughs> that's that primal kitchen yeah this is some pretty good keto keto friendly uh buffalo sauce trying to lose some weight here so i've been into this i tried this and uh you can get this at costco for a great price i had a buddy from work uh zach he gave me two bottles of this new 16-ounce uh, bottle for free. And I was just like, wow, thanks, dude. <laughs> the guy's great. He's a great guy. Anyway, that's our buffalo sauce on our thing. So I'm going to put that over here. All right. Um, 
Well, we should probably do is get the tasting on those. We should probably try these wings, though. Okay. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. All right. Are they still warm? Yeah. I'm going to grab a wing. Right on sauce, too. Oh, yeah. Not dripping, but just enough to use the flavor. This is a multifaceted show yeah. right here. Because <laughs> we're... What, can you pull those out? They're in that packet, that black packet right there. Oh. Oh, no, right there. Oh. We're trying something else, too, that we're going to drop in these primal spirits to kind of age them as well and see how they do over time. Yeah. Yeah. We've got these oak infused oh, spirals. Yeah. We're gonna drop in the primal spirits. I think they take about four weeks, give yeah, or take. That was two weeks. Flavor will be completely extracted after two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it takes two weeks. <laughs> right. Um, we're gonna drop these staves in the primal spirits and we're going to extract uh, an ounce of each of where they are now right. to compare after those two weeks are up. Right. Um, so we'll revisit the primal spirits after today. Well, this is this is the distillery business, right? I right. mean, this is, you, you've gotta be precise. If you want to recreate, I learned this in brewing beer. I brewed beer for a little bit. And, mm. That was a pain. Yeah. <laughs> because the only way to make the beer taste the same the next time is to do exactly what you did before. So you right. had to really write down everything you did so you could repeat it. Mm -hmm. And if it was wrong, then you could tweak it. That's fine. But when you tweak it, you got to rewrite it because once you re get to the one you want, if you just make changes and also don't write it down, how did I get there? Right. right? I mean, how did I get that flavor? All right. So let's be very precise on this. I'm gonna do a half ounce. Go ahead and open that one up. Okay. Yeah, it smells like an Irish. <laughs> All right. Oh, very sweet. All right, sorry. I wanna pour a half an ounce. Half an ounce. Okay. So half an ounce. Pour this in. Because I think it'll be I, I want to get the most bang for the buck out of the spirals okay. if I can. These wings are good. Yeah, they are. Mm. The column's still very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. Smell that. That smells like Swedish fish or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's super clean. Yeah. That's what they were talking about. It was that they talked about this column still has these scrubbers, they called it. Okay. And it scrubs it clean. It's like the cleanest alcohol. <laughs> Smell the pot still. Ooh. Yeah. Does that take you back to kill? <laughs> what was the? What was the Irish that we didn't like? Kinsale. Kinsale. <laughs> <laughs> we also visited the place. Right. It's a fishing town, right? Right. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I can I can definitely smell that sort of funkiness from the pot right. still. So it must be so, um, sort of. it must just be like a variation. Super clean. Funky. Yeah. But there's a sweetness to this one too. Right. It's on a different but level. But this is a different kind of sweetness, right? Right. <clears throat> this is like the beige. Just the bottom of the sugar barrel versus yeah. the top. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just want to smell them side by side. They're sure. pretty interesting. I can't believe that the two different stills make that much difference, right? Is that amazing? Wow. With them side by side, the column still, I, I see what you mean by clean. Mm -hmm. The Swedish fish is kind of gone. Right. <laughs> okay. It still has a sweetness to it, but mm -hmm. now the pot's still... It's a little bit sweeter. Right. That reminds me like almost every other Irish we've had. Yeah, this is almost like a fruity sweetness. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I can't believe it's so different. Yeah, this is this one, the column still almost smells surgical. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to taste the pot still. Okay. If you want to taste the column still, then we'll switch. You know what? I have to say, you didn't watch the 
Whiskey Tribe, right? No. Okay. See, I did. Okay. And so, I expected something completely different because I thought I was going to hate it. Oh. I don't hate the pot still. No. I don't hate it. It's just, it's a different vibe, Mm -hmm. but I don't hate it. Especially after having some Irish recently. (laughs) Yeah. The column still actually kind of reminded me of the... Gins from St. George's. Yeah, there we have them right, right here. here. Yeah, so, there yeah, was one love. that tasted supposedly like a fir tree. Oh yeah, that's kind of what I got right. from. Which one was that? That was, I think, the green one. Was it this one here? I think it was. Yeah. Okay. It, it kind of gave me that feeling on the on the column still. Yeah, that's super clean. That's almost like a gin. I mean, you got some juniper berries in there, and you got mm-hmm. nice clean gin. Oh. Uh, I think I like the. Mm. I like the column still better. Okay. I prefer it. It's more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. But there is a, a flavor from the pot still that's good. Yeah. Wow. The pot still for me resonates a little bit better. Okay, yeah, I know you're a big fan of the Irish. I do like Irish, for sure. So he sounds a big fan, so I know. And I mean, I I like it too, but yeah, yeah, oh man. They definitely both have their strengths, for sure. And they taste, they taste very different Mm -hmm. for the mash bill being exactly the same, right? Right. We're not quite sure what it was exactly. Yeah, I can't remember what the mash bill was, but they are the exact same. Just in the stills, the the difference is huge. That's, That's amazing to me. I didn't, I never thought about it. So you kind of make you wonder, I know like a lot of the Irish, they say single pot still. It's, right. it's like a, a thing mm-hmm. to put on the bottle yeah. to advertise. And so. Isn't the red breast? Is it a single pot? I don't know. Where is it? <laughs> oh, nope. There it is. <laughs> right there on the neck. Single, single pot. pot still. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> this is definitely one of our. I think this was our number two. Right. Overall. Which, that's for the Irish. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, that's just straight distilling, so it's oh, hard right. to tell. But there's tones of it, but yeah, this has sherry. Right. Right. Tones apparently, and it's Asian bourbon barrels. This straight up smells like bourbon. That straight up smells like Irish to me. Right. Right. I think I'll go for another wing here. Get hungry. Mm-hmm. Oh, primal. Oh. Red breast is just good. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. That funkiness comes out. Try that and then try that. <clears throat> mm. Just had teeling, right? From our poor folk, our poor, poor decisions. Poor decisions. <laughs> and that was so good. Yeah, I kicked its butt. <laughs> yeah, I got the funkiness right away. It reminded me of Kinsale. Yeah, yeah. But, but, it, but not to the point where I didn't want to drink it. No, it's not that bad. It's, yeah, something was something about Kinsale. That Kinsale was. Oh. Partially now, I'm thinking it, it might be a distiller right. distiller choice to an extent, but we're just not a fan of. I'm thinking about, I mean, and it was young, and that's what this is. This is new make, so right. this is the stuff that they put into the barrel to start giving it the flavor. So, mm-hmm. so Kinsale took that pot, a single pot still probably, right, based on the funkiness, put it into a barrel and aged it. What kind of barrel? It must have been a bad barrel. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe that was it. I don't know. Right? Because the the funkiness of it was just too, right. so much, and it was just it was like that moldy. I right. think you said it was moldy. But <laughs> after going from red breast, which is single pot still, uh-huh. with added parts to it, right, to the barrel, the primal spirit, the distillant, mm-hmm. from a single pot still, I get the funkiness that they that it had on uh-huh. Kinsale. And I'm wondering, is it a distillant choice? Or a distiller choice? 
to okay. make it that way. Oh, maybe. I yeah. don't know. Because maybe it just wasn't up our alley. Right. It, it could be, that could be right up like you were saying. It could be somebody's flavor profile choices. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole thing about whiskey, right? You, you drink the whiskey you like the way you like to drink it. Right. And so there's so much variety that you can find something that you want, you're going to like. Yeah. I'd have to say I like both of these. The distillant is very different, though. Yeah. Again, the pot's still very Irish. Mm-hmm. Not very bourbon-esque. I know the these these uh, are actually made for the 750 milliliter mm-hmm. bottles, but they they're they're made to put in a like a whiskey bottle, and you want to just enhance the flavor of something. Oh, okay. We're going to enhance okay. from. From the, from the base, one. from the base. Right. <laughs> so we'll see if it it enhances enough. Okay. It may not enhance enough. Right. I mean, it may not be enough really to char it. Right. To that's why we pulled, whiskey standards. Right. That's why we pulled the ounce out. Right. So we get a good idea of how much did it change after two weeks. Correct. So here we have the barrel. Got our name and everything on it. It's mm-hmm. really nice. So this is, we're going to actually let this sit for two years. Right. Uh, if we last two years. Right. So like and subscribe. So we're around two years from now. We can try this. Please. We're, we're <laughs> growing. We're moving up. And mm-hmm. it's getting, we feel like we're getting some traction. Oh, yeah. So please, let's keep it going. Anyway, uh, the spout is turned off. We've checked it out. Um, pull the bung out. All right. See, that's gonna put a block, so we need to be very careful right. when we're pouring. All right. <clears throat> I'll give you the honors of the first one. Oh, sure. <laughs> All right. So we got it in the tray. We'll leave it in here for a little bit. Make sure it's not leaking anywhere. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Beast of burden is. No, bless the beast. That's the beast. <laughs> the beast of. Oh, that's to change the name. No, it's okay. No, uh, my, my first thing was stampede, for Buffalo Trace. Mm, that would have been. I kind of liked too. that. But we went with bless the beasts because of the movie, right? Got another thing. Yeah, we'll go right here. Yeah. That's okay. It'll 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 soak in and it'll stop leaking out. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll just add a little bit more yeah. over the last couple of weeks. Because we've got two years. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hopefully I'll stop leaking after two years. Right. <laughs> well, here's to Bless the Beast. Yes. And our Primal Spirits. We'll see where that leads us. Mm-hmm. So like and subscribe. Yep. Join us and see where we're going. Because it's a wild ride right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try some uh, Primal Kitchen Buffalo Sauce. Super yeah. good. We are not paid sponsors for that either, by the way. No, we're not. So, Primal Kitchen, if you're watching, we could be a... <laughs> Eat us up. <laughs> we're willing. <laughs> All right. Shalenta, to your health, like and subscribe again. We'll see you next time. Yes. Oh, that's good.